Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, LS lesson this week's all about the valves. We're actually gonna take this valve and grind it on a valve grinding machine, the face right here. Here's the face, and then there's a little margin up here. You don't wanna keep grinding until that's all the way gone. And, you know, a disclaimer, probably the price of valves, you can just go ahead and replace them all. Brian will show you how to lap them in a minute, but this is pretty cool. I wanna show you how they do it in a machine shop or machine shop operation. I'm gonna put it in the chuck right there and lock it in, make sure it's in. Then I'm just gonna fire up the machine. You're gonna see some fluid dropping down here, which is actually gonna lubricate it as I'm cutting it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the valve in, into the stone grinding wheel right there. And at the same time, I'm gonna keep it moving and bring the stone in. Now eventually we'll hit and you'll hear it start to spark up. So I'm gonna go slow because I don't wanna gouge it. There it goes. Okay, and I just keep moving it across that wheel. I already dressed the wheel. I already set the angle. Everything's professionally ready to go. I just keep going. Now I can take a bigger bite if I would like and just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And what that's doing, it's actually cutting the face of the valve. Like I said, I don't wanna go too far because I don't wanna cut the margin. Then when I'm done, I'll bring it out and spark out. Shut the machine off. Then I can take it out of the chuck here and I'll actually show it to you right here. You can see it, Brian, this is pretty cool. Nice job, you got mad skills. Yep. If you look at that right there, you see the shiny portion of it? Man, that's all looking good all the way around. Now that I know it's cut though, that's kind of rough. You got a better technique. We got to get it seated, absolutely. And you know what, old school, old days, some valves, some engines, you'd cut them 30, 45, and 60 degrees. This is a straight 45 degree cut, correct, for the it LS is. engine? So now we need to seat that. We've inspected the valve guide. It's in good shape. So we're gonna take our valve grinding compound here, get a little on the finger and work it around. This is in John's shop called liquid sandpaper. So you can be amazed how this works. Get this valve upside down through the guide, down through, seat it. Now we got a really high tech tool here. We're gonna do this old school, folks. And the cool part is all these tools you looked at, rockauto.com, they got a whole selection of tools. Matter of fact, our engine stands from rockauto.com. There you go, you can hear very abrasive, substantial grinding. You pull it out, change your angle, reseat a little more. Keep on working that all the way around. Eventually, you're gonna hear it get quiet. That's the grinding, the abrasive going away, telling us we've got that guy seated. So we're in pretty good shape right there. It's starting to get quiet now. Work it around a little more. Hear how much quieter that is? There you go. All right, there we go. So let's pull this guy out. Now here's the beauty of Wipe it. Wipe it down. See that joker, yep. I'm gonna hold that up once again. Man, you can see it all the way around, seated all the way around. That's actually, that's pretty awesome. That is right? awesome. That's awesome. So you now, could do a final check with a marker, Yep. right? Look for tracking in let's there. You'll the find where it's touching. Yep. And let's get this guy back together. Yep, flip that over. I'll put okay. a block over here on this side. Perfect. All right, so now what we would do is just basically reverse the procedure. I'm gonna pop it through here. Now that it's all ready to go back in and our seat looks good, everything's in good shape. So I pop it up in there. Take your spring, put your spring back on there. Your retainer, once your retainer's on, you'll come back, hold that there for a Got second it. for me. I'll take the tool, put the tool on, compress it, put the keepers in, and then we'll be continued to each one of them. We're gonna make sure this head is primo. Stick around, more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com right after this.